I'm Anthony Bucco, and this is how we roast the whole red snapper. The one thing I can promise you is that cooking a fish on the bone in its entirety is probably one of the best preparations and most flavorful ways to execute a fish. Uh, in this case, we're using a red snapper. It's probably about two and a half to three pounds. Snapper is one of the best fish to work with. It's got meaty texture, a sweet flesh, it's sustainable, and it's interesting. It's got a beautiful color tone to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it ready to go in the oven. We have uh, to make sure that the fish is scaled and eviscerated, so which basically means that all the organs have been removed. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to fill that cavity with flavor. You have to remember something. It has a very thin bone structure. So anything that we put in that cavity is going to perfume and permeate the flesh of the fish. So in this instance, we're going to use some thyme. We're going to use some lemon, some bay leaf, salt, and pepper. Now that's going to go into the cavity, but before we fill the cavity, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to score the flesh of the fish and season the outside. In essence, what we're going to do is we're going to make some nice, clean slash marks into the side of the fish, four on each side at a 45 degree angle, thus making sure that the heat in the oven can kind of get around the flesh and set the protein in the middle. And then obviously we'll rub the outside with olive oil and season accordingly because we want it to taste good both inside and out. And from that point, you're going into a 350 degree oven for roughly about 30 minutes to get to the finished um, desired product.